Right, okay. Um, so someone's asked a question. Um, just to let that individual know, it's not a dumb question. Uh, it's actually a pretty good question. Um, so the question that was raised, um, let's see if we can, there we go. So the question that was raised was the difference between trim and gain. But I think the individual was asking more about what trim was. Um, and I think what they've done is they've seen this in uh, here in Master Fader. Uh, there, and they wanted to know, yeah, what is trim and why is it there? Um, in order for you to understand trim, um, it's always best to actually understand what gain is and why we have gain, uh, because trim and gain are so gain is an an analog thing. Um, it's more from your analog days, um, but it's also applicable because you can gain stage, um, and you should be gain staging uh, within uh, your master fader app. Um, and also if you're using your door uh, to do any recordings uh, then obviously you need to do your gain staging there as well trim on the other hand um, is a digital thing and what I'll do is I'll, un I'll explain um, analog first, uh, gain first then I'll explain trim and some of the uses of trim uh, because it's not a very used um, application but some people do use it because there are some really good uses for it I can't possibly give you all the uses for trim, uh, but what I can do is I can just tell you what I know about uh, trim, and you can figure out your own way of using it. Um, but here we go. So gain. Two things I'll say about gain. I'm not going to explain everything there is to know about gain. The first thing I'll say about gain is gain. In, if you wanted to compare gain to your, say, your fader, for example. Um, gain would increase the sensitivity of whatever it is you're inputting and your fader would just increase the volume depending on what gain is you set excuse me but when you're looking to set your gain um, what you're actually looking to do so going back to the analog days a mixing desk um, understands voltage or um, a current an electrical current coming in from at least one volt upwards Anything less than a volt is a little bit degraded. Um, it won't do as well. Um, so what they do is they will include gain to allow you to increase or decrease the amount of... Because uh, essentially what's happening is this is electrical current flowing through um, your mixing board. Uh, this is like an analog mixing board, even with your digital one. So you've got electric current coming in. And your gain allows you to uh, ensure that you don't have too much or you don't have too little. So for example, a microphone, uh, if you have an old uh, um, dynamic mic, you know, it's like a standard SM58 or whatever, those output a voltage that is less than one volt. So you need to use your gain to increase that voltage. So it, it's at least one volt and then the mixer can handle that signal properly. So if you find that your mixer is struggling, it might be because you're not including enough gain on your, uh, on your gain staging or you're not doing your gain staging at all. So that's the first thing you need to look out for. Um, hang on. Okay, I'm just going to trust this is actually working because it sounds really bad in my ears. Um, yeah, so that's, um, that's uh, gain for you. Um, you really, you're, you're working with electrical currents here. Um, and I can go into much deeper um, explanation about gain, but I think for the purposes of this video, I'm going to stop there. Um, so yeah, I mentioned sensitivity, and I also mentioned the fact that um, you need to at least ensure that your mix is getting at least one volt worth of power, and it's not exceeding the amount of voltage uh, that it can handle coming in, so your gain is not too high. Um, and then you should find that you'll have a nice balanced sound of whatever it is you're inputting into the actual mixer. Obviously, we spoke about a mic having less than a volt, and you can, you'd can you use your gain to increase that. Um, so that's gain, okay? So that's more from an analog perspective. When you're looking at trim, uh, let me go back to our guy here. So when you're looking at trim, um, you'll notice that when Master Fader... Uh, sets your channels up you can see that the trim is turned up to a certain uh, you know on all the channels 
you know, I didn't do that. This is just a default. I'm not even plugged into a master fader today to do this. And what I would use trim for in the digital world is if I had, um, you know, some people on stage and they wanted to um, do a track, but say they didn't have enough musicians and they'd pre-recorded their track. Um, so they had the bass, uh, like it's all in track version on, uh, on your door. Um, so they would have, I'd have a digital audio workstation opened up. And what I would do is I would send, because with your DL32 and with most digital mix mixes, you can send out 32 channels, but you can also receive 32 channels through your one USB um, port. So I would basically um, take whatever input is coming in from uh, the door. Uh, so create a track and say there's mu music playing on this track. I'm going to remove this because it's picking up this mic. Um, hang on. There we go. So if I had uh, tracks set up, let's just imagine I had 16 tracks here and I had like uh, a keyboard, a synth, uh, bass uh, and a few other things uh, playing here what I could do is I could send those channels out through my door through the USB sorry on the um, uh, from the laptop out back through into uh, the mixer uh, to, to play out along with whoever's on stage and you could use your trim to either lower the signal that's coming from the door on your actual mixer and the advantage of that is it saves you from having to mix both from the laptop and also from your tablet rather than going back to the laptop that has the door and starting to tinker with it halfway through a, an actual set you can actually control what's coming in from the USB obviously this would be changed to USB and you can control what's coming in from the USB source in your door back out to master fader so that there's a nice balance okay and that would be on your usb channels so that's one way you can utilize trim uh within a particular setting or at least that's the one i'd be utilizing the most um so that that would sort of explain uh your thing and i noticed the person who asked this question is actually uh, uh i think they're a christian because uh, i think their name was something like axe 34 um todd delaney um, he, he does this quite a lot, uh, where he'll go out and you'll, you'll see him, um, you'll have like three or four musicians on stage, but the sound you'll hear sounds like there's 10 of them on there and you try and work out, well, how, how is he managing to do that? He's got his, uh, another guy on a, on a laptop running an Ableton session and all the other tracks that you're listening to, um, are coming from an actual Ableton session. So they've pre-recorded this and uh, for a certain part of the song, um, they're following a script. At some point, obviously, they can turn it off and they can go into spontane spontaneous uh, um, singing or whatever. But for a certain part, they'll be following a song. Um, so all the changes will just be following them through. And whatever's coming from their door uh, from Ableton will be playing back through the speakers along with whatever that is coming out there. But the mix the guy who's doing the sound wouldn't have to come necessarily to the uh, to the producer and start saying look can you lower the gain can you change this can you do that you can just go in here and utilize your trim but notice as soon as i switch this from mic pre to usb i was only left with the trim so as i mentioned to you trim is a digital thing not an analog thing um and there you go um, it's more of a digital thing and not an analog thing because you you can have trim on a um, on on certain analog mixes. But I think that pretty much summarizes how I would utilize it and what trim is. Um, but yeah, hopefully somebody else has something else to uh, to offer. Um, but yeah, all right, man. I shall speak to you guys soon. Peace. <laughs>